Hey guys, so this video is all about Cricut Design Space and Shadows. Some of you have been wondering, is there a shadow function that you just haven't found yet in Cricut Design Space? And the answer to that question is yes and no. If you insert an image from the Cricut library, you'll notice that it populates pre-built onto your mat and you'll have to sort it out for cutting. Now, when the image populates, you'll see a bunch of images in your layers palette to the right. At the bottom of this particular image's layers, you'll see that there's a gray image that is turned off. That feature is this image's shadow. So if I click it, you'll see that his shadow comes back. Now, this shadow function is only available on images in which the original Cricut cartridge had a shadow function. So for example, if I choose an image from Teddy Bear Parade, there will be no shadow available for it because there was no shadows available on that cartridge. And you'll notice that over and over again with different images, particularly your um, Cricut Lite type, image, or type cartridges. So if I click this teddy bear, for example, and I insert him, you'll see in the layers palette to the right, he does not have a shadow option. The only thing that even remotely looks like a shadow is this black image down towards the bottom. But if I turn that off, you'll see that that's just his base and his eyes will disappear. Now, the second part of the shadow mystery is, can you add shadows to images that you import or true type fonts on your computer that you use in Cricut Design Space? At this time, the answer to that question is no. There is no way for you to add a shadow to an image that you have uploaded as a vector file or that you have created using the basic upload feature. Also, the same thing applies to fonts. There is no shadow feature for any true type font that you use. Now, if you're using a font that was originally a Cricut cartridge, then yes, the shadow feature will be there. But there is no shadow feature available for image for true type fonts that are from your computer and not Cricut cartridges. So I hope this video helped you guys who are wondering all about shadows. If you have any questions, leave them down for me in the comments below. Thanks for watching.